they were intrigued by my story and they asked, well, I asked them, could I join their tour to go on different prisons and teach about Bitcoin and how it could change the lives. So what is your vision for where you go from here with your education? So um, thank you for bringing it up and thanks for that question. Um, more so what I'm looking to do or what I'm working on now. I have a great uh, business partner or friend with me. My name is uh, Dr. Stacy Boyle and creating a nonprofit uh, called same name of the book, you know, the documentary from Bars to Bitcoin mm -hmm. and actually living out that name. So this summer I've joined a group of reentry professionals and they were intrigued by my story. And they asked, well, I asked them, could I join their tour to go on different prisons and teach about Bitcoin and how it could change the lives coming out of prison? And um, the goal with that is to turn it into a nationwide program. Mm -hmm. um, but as of now, you know, find find support on like going to these prisons to teach this message um, and to give that pillar of hope. And. You know, what I found out when I have conversations with people, like, they, they might overcomplicate it. I'm like, listen, this is not complicated. You know, one thing I learned when I came home from prison was I didn't really get any type of, like, not, no type of hope that could say, hey, this is where you can go. Mm -hmm. The only thing I came out with was a box of letters, and that was it. So, like, I, I share with people, like, you know, giving out the, the, the knowledge or letting people know like how they how they can pull themselves up when they come home. Like um, when I was at the Empire Conference and I heard, um, you know, some of the CEOs and business people there say, we're looking for workers. We need people to work. I finally found like where what I wanted to do would fit into Bitcoin um, because, you know, in the financial space and the financial side of Bitcoin, no one is actually asking for random workers like that, you know, but mm. it was at Empower where I noticed like, hey, I can go inside these prisons, educate on Bitcoin as I can, and then leave, like leave breadcrumbs of where men and women can get out to find, you know, work, not only just work, but work in the, like I said, a new industry, you know, like I said before, it's still a new industry, you're on like a first movers advantage type of uh, thing. You have an option to probably get paid in Bitcoin. After getting all this knowledge, you could be like a year or two out of prison before you come home. And you can be like, you know, I, I'm I'm ready to go here and try this thing out. You know, so I looked at it as a scenario where, um, you know, when you share with me about mining and natural stranded gas, you know, like that was a thing to where it's like, OK, mining what mining does is it uses the energy that's not being used, you know, that's considered wasteful, and they're putting it into mining and creating Bitcoin. And so when I first thought about that, like, and that had to sit in my head for some years, I was like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that same thing on like the human human capital side. Take this energy of people who, you know, could be marginalized. They have a record. You know, they're what Stacey calls an invisible population. And we're going to use their energy and put them somewhere in Bitcoin that can now, everybody can win. You know, it's, it's a scenario where everybody can win. And, you know, the entrepreneurial spirit in me had always noticed, I, I would listen to like um, this, uh, this one entrepreneur, his name was Peter Diamandis. And he would say like, you got to find ways to solve, to create solutions mm. that can impact billions of people. and with the number of people who come home from prisons, about 600,000 yearly, and you have a high recidivism of over 50%, a lot of that is due, due because there's no money, there's no uh, income opportunities. Like, um, for instance, I remember I was doing a, I was on Clubhouse in the Black Bitcoin Billionaires room, and I would have these rooms called from bars to Bitcoin. So in 2021, I was, I was already thinking about doing this, going inside prisons. And I said, all right, how can we test this out before bringing it to real life? I said, well, let's just start a clubhouse room. So I would have guys in there and like I, I found um, there was one woman, her name was Kimberly Booker. And she um, she had like a cohort full of guys who just came home from prison. 
And I had a course that I was selling during the pandemic for like $200 on Bitcoin. And I gave it to all of them for free. There wow. was like 10 people in there. And so then, you know, I started seeing like, oh, okay, what I'm saying is clicking to people. And so they started buying cold storage wallets. They started reading Bitcoin books. And so then I would host these rooms. And I had my one friend on there. His name is Ryan Lawrence. He's real smart in finances. He's the one who... Um, he introduced me to the dollar index um, website. And I said, okay, Ryan. So there's this one guy in there. His name was Todd. He had did like 30 years in prison. And I said, okay, so let me ask you this. What was the price of a dollar in 1989? And he was like, oh, well, it was like around, you know, 95, 98 cents. And I said, okay, so what's the work, the cost? What's, what's the dollar worth today? And it was like mid 80 cents. And I share with, um, you know, some of those folks in there. I was like, well, you know, in our community, the, the, the problem of not having financial literacy means that you go to, you commit a crime for money and you go to prison and you sit in prison and that, and that crime and that dollar you committed that crime for is losing value. So not having a proper education of money means you put yourself in crazy scenarios for a dollar that gets weaker over time. Mm -hmm. So um, my big goal is to get a program inside of a prison that can funnel into Bitcoin. And the first step of that is to go on this tour and get that education out there. So that's, that's my big goal. And, you know, even turn that into something else. Hey, it's Amy. Click over here to subscribe, click over here for more content, and we'll see you next time.